What's up you guys? Today we are working on the 62 Ford Falcon and you guys liked that Falcon video from last time where I replaced that little inline six and we got this thing running. Well today we're going to replace and rebuild the whole suspension and I think it still has the original uh, suspension components from 1962 so they're pretty worn out. But uh, let's take a look at some of the parts and then we'll get right into the whole suspension rebuild. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so this is everything that I've picked up. And whenever I try to rebuild suspension for Fords, um, I always try to go with Moog because it always seems to be a little better quality than the others. I've always had good luck with them. So I always try to find the Moog branded stuff. Um, when it comes to the 62 Ford Falcon, it's a little difficult to find parts for because when you're searching for this stuff and you type in 62 Ford Falcon, well, a lot of times it will say that it will not fit. And that is because mid-year, the 62 Falcon went through a suspension change and it just messed everything up for all these parts suppliers. But uh, we've got just a bunch of like bushings and end links. I've got um, some uh, upper ball joints right here. Um, the upper control arms, they do not sell them. So you will have to rebuild your upper control arms. So this is the correct three bolt ball joint for that. And uh, Classic Industries sells these. Um, I will put all the part numbers for these in the description below so you can just copy paste. But a lot of this stuff I just ordered from Amazon, which is pretty crazy. You know, with the two day shipping, I got all of this pretty fast. So we've got end links, bushings, um, the lower control arms. They actually do sell these complete. So I would just try to buy the whole control arm. That way you just take out the box and they're ready to bolt on. You don't have to rebuild them. Um, I've got some upper control arm shafts as well. And I've got the center drag link here. Um, I'm still not 100% sure that these parts will fit. I did as much research as I could. So we're going to put the parts side by side and make sure that they're the same ones and then install them. So let's get this thing done and let's get to it.
right, so I have one side completely off and I've put them next to the new parts and they are looking pretty good. Check that out. Everything is matching really nice. You've got the center drag links and the tie rod ends looking good. The upper control arms with the spring saddle. But the one problem that I did have was right here with these ball joints. And this is the one that I bought from Classic Industries. And it's supposed to fit the 62 Ford Falcon. But of course, it does not. And let's take a look at this control arm. There's like a little pocket right here. And this thing is just way too big to even fit in here. Check this out. So it is just way off. There's no way this thing is fitting it. But uh, just like how I said, the 62 Falcon went through a mid-year suspension change. So trying to find this ball joint was pretty difficult for me. I spent about two weeks trying to look for one. And one of them finally popped up on eBay. So this is the part number K8032 by Moog. And here it is. So this is a new old stock ball joint. When I was looking for this thing, I found out that these are pretty much no longer made so i'm not sure what the reason is maybe it's just not enough uh demand for these but this ball joint is no longer made so you're gonna have a tough time trying to find this thing which is uh, pretty crazy but here it is this thing fits how it should check that out very nice so i would definitely definitely suggest trying to find these ball joints before you start taking anything apart because those are going to be a bit of a pain to try and find but um i've got a sand blaster so i'm going to sand blast this control arm uh we're going to put a brand new spring saddle i've got it right there with the new shafts and this thing is going to look brand spanking new i've also got the spring right here so i might as well sandblast it and get this thing painted as well but for the falcon i'm going to clean up the wheel wells so check this out these things are pretty dirty as well tons of mud caked on so we're going to clean all of this up and paint it with some pour 15 paint and this thing is going to look amazing but i've got a ton of work to do so let's get to it
so here is everything laid out everything is painted and ready to be installed and it is looking very very nice uh, this is my favorite part of working on cars is when you get to put all the brand new parts and shiny stuff back on the car um, the paint that I use for this project is pour 15 and I love using this paint because it is just really easy to apply and the fact that you can use a brush on it it is just awesome for me um, so when you use a brush to paint these parts and it starts to dry it starts to level out really really nice you can see the gloss on this thing and you can't even tell that it was painted with a brush that is what's really really cool about this paint and the fact that it's pretty durable as well so i always try to get uh, parts painted with this pour 15 paint but everything here is painted and um, just like how i said in the beginning all of these part numbers are in the description below so if you're doing your falcon or comet all of these parts are listed so that you can buy them and do the suspension rebuild on your car but uh, I think it's time. I think it's time to put everything back on the car, get some tires on this thing, get the jack stands off, and get it on the floor, and finally finish this project. So let's get to it. you guys finally finally done with this 62 falcon suspension 
and man this thing took me forever to finish but it is finally installed and everything went on pretty good all the parts fit but i did have a couple of problems the biggest problem that i had was with this shock right here and i think it's because all these parts are brand new and all the you know the the rubber is brand new well th that part lifted up the car and it was very hard to get this thing to come down to be able to bolt it down right here and it's limited space right here so what I had to do is get two hefty people to sit down on this thing to bring this car down as much as I could so that I was able to tighten this thing down on the bottom right here and attach it to the saddle but we are all finally done and this part took me the longest the second part that I had well the problem that I had was right here with this spacer and this spacer is the one that goes right here in the middle of these two uh, bushings and when you order the bushing kit it comes with its own spacer but it is the wrong one because it does not fit the hole is too small so it doesn't slide over the strut rod here and go all the way to the middle of these uh, let me get this angle here <laughs> it doesn't fit in the middle right here between these two bushings so what I had to do is sand the inside of this until it fits in the strut rod so if you order these bushings you're gonna have to uh, sand the middle of the hole here so that it can fit in the strut rod so a big pain but it's got to be done so we got that thing done all the suspension is in the car there is no strange noise coming out and it is pretty stiff man I, <laughs> I think it's gonna ride really really nice the only thing left to do is to put back the fenders and drive it on to the alignment guy so that he can do the alignment so let's get this thing done guys that is it took a little cruise this thing rides really smooth super happy how everything came out 
I think the owner of the car is super happy. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get some more Falcon stuff coming out. We still got some work to do on it, but she's riding really, really good. I'll see you guys on the next one. Boom!